attention, Aquarius I am. We in the Aquarius age for the next 2,000 years, you dig? Swing low, time to move on. Light years and time, ahead of our time. I want to free your mind by helping you understand the zodiac signs. That's right, you're live with Aquaman in the zodiac zone where the cosmos is your home. I'm your very own Ampu, the real urban guru coming through on the mothership. So let's open up your cosmic memory bank and swing down to earth with a shit stain. Hey, hey, peace everybody. Welcome back to Hip Hop Astrology TV. I'm your host, Ampu, the real urban guru. Hey man, today uh, I got to give it to you real fast, man. Happy um, January the third, which is something called the Perillion, which I'm explaining in a second. Um, but I got to shoot it quick, man, because I'm in the middle, literally, of uh, cyber schooling, homeschooling these children of mine. All right. So um, I want to get into how I know God is real, <laughs> straight up. So when I see certain things, man, I'm like, yo, this is just amazing so remember this is hip-hop astrology this is where um the stars meet the stars that's our tagline right so today january the third happens to be angela Yee's birthday all right so shout out ye uh, from the breakfast club right now i know that today is the perillion which simply means the earth was at its absolute closest that it's going to be in the entire year of the sun today. That occurred at 12.34 a.m. Eastern Time. See, again, this is a mathematical universe, a mathematical solar system that exists inside the universe where we live and our, like I like to say, our reality can be measured. Now, Angela Yee is the Syrian goddess you gotta you gotta understand the divinity of god here my job is to show you why you see what you see all right i gotta connect i gotta connect instead of connecting the dots i, co I connect the stars so let's look at something here let's really pay attention angela what you can say is an angel right the, the name but an angel is really an angel. We know that. See, the earthly reality that you live in deals with seasons. So the seasons are said to be created by the tilt of the earth. The earth is said to be tilted on an axis. Okay? So therefore, the tilt or the tilt of the earth in reference to the sun, if that's creating the seasons then that means the angle of light is creating the seasons. Let me give you a clear example so you can understand what I'm saying. Because the, 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 the angel is really the angle, okay? Let's look at the winter solstice that just passed. First day of winter, December 21st. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, United States of America, and so forth, then light appeared to be at its absolute lowest peak. We have longer daylight hours. I mean, nighttime hours than we have daylight hours. So light is at its lowest peak. So gradually, the sun appears to be getting higher and higher every day, rising approximately two minutes earlier every day. Okay? So you're getting more light now. Then when March 21st get here, we're going to be at the equinox. Even daylight and even nighttime. We're going to be even Steven. Then when we get to June 21st, we're going to have more daylight, right? So from the equinox, March 21st to June 21st, we got more daylight now. Daylight has increased, okay? We got more light. Then on June 21st, first day of summer, light starts to decrease. Then we get back to the September, it's the equinox, we even. Then we go back down into the under, an underworld where we have more nighttime than daytime after September's equinox. So the angle of light is actually producing seasons, okay? Very important to understand this, all right? So I am telling you that at this time, let's look at something. Let's look at this diagram. 
I just did this on a previous um, Happy New Year video. New Year's is a Syrian portal. It is when the earth travels between Sirius and the sun. This is the only time of year, once of year, that the earth travels through these two portals, meaning the sun and Sirius. Okay. Again, let the record reflect that this happened today at 1234 AM. Okay. Eastern time. And then today happens to be Angela Yee's birthday. Now, this is very important because if you understand this, let's look at this slide. Yee used to work for Sirius Satellite Radio. But Sirius is depicted as Sirius, the satellite radio company, is named after Sirius the Constellation. The Constellation looks like a dog. Therefore, Sirius logo has a dog with a star in his eye. So if we know anything about Sirius, Again, in the astronomical alignments of where we at, we know on average January 3rd, 4th around about is when we're in direct alignment with it. And then we have this woman, this goddess, the Syrian goddess comes who embodies this birthday and she actually worked there before. You think that's a freaking coincidence? Yes, I told you mathematically when two things coincide, that's what's up. They're the same thing. This is the realm of the gods right here, okay? So as I showed in the previous video on New Year's, Dr. Francis Cress Wilson, who wrote the ISIS papers, ISIS is the latter form of an uh, ancient form uh, deity goddess named Sebdek, who is the goddess of Sirius with the star on her head, okay? So Sebdek becomes ISIS. OK, who later becomes Dr. Francis Quest Wilson, who wrote the ISIS papers, who made transition and died January the 2nd of 2016. Same portal of energy. The Earth is in that same spot. OK, right around Angela Yee's birthday. And yet again, I'm just showing you that these are the same damn energies that's manifesting. OK, showing you the beauty of God and how this thing work, man. I'll say this on Yee, then I'm off of it. You got to really look at this whole thing, man. Everybody is here to present something great to the world, your viewpoint. The question is, are you going to really boss up? And, and, and some of us, you know, some of us are worker bees, and that's fine. And then some of us are more pioneers. You understand what I'm saying? Ye, you have something much more deeper to say. I got to put that out there. It's going to be responsible for helping transform and elevate the consciousness of humanity you mark my words you watch and see what that is got to find out so all right let's move on to something because i recently did a video dealing with the migos right and i said yo migos is really the three pure ones from the dial something that should have been inside that video is the video aspect called, uh, well, first of all, understand that the Dow is a nightclub in Las Vegas. Let's understand that so y'all won't think I'm bugging. The Dow is a spiritual system from ancient China, but I'm showing you how that spiritual system has integrated itself into hip hop. So at one point I said it's me goes and it is, but I'm also showing you like, oh, wait a minute. The Dow is also inside of hip hop in Vegas at a nightclub. OK, so that's there. And then, as you can see, Gucci man, he just did New Year's there this year. But, you know, he was there at fight night. So I'm showing you this is a part of culture. OK, now when you go to the ice tray video, the latest video from Migos and Lil Yachty, shout out to the boat, then you see a Chinese guy putting the diamond teeth grill inside of Quavo's mouth. You see this for yourself. So they go to Chinese, they go to Dow connection right there. All right. So the diamonds, people like diamonds because diamonds shine. 
diamonds reflect light. When light bounces off them, you see that bling bling. So when you're talking diamonds, man, you're really talking about light. You like them because they glisten. It's light. So therefore, as I said in the previous Migos video, the three pure ones really represent the three primary colors of light. Because when you understand light, it's only three primary colors. So you got red, yellow, and blue, which now will be Quavo, Takeoff, and Offset. All right, no particular order, but I'm just saying, that's what it is. So when you see them come together, you understand what I'm saying? They represent an ancient principle of creation, also known in the Christi Christianity pantheon called the Holy Trinity. Also known as culture, in culture, hip hop, throw the rock up. All right, so I just wanted to give y'all that. Happy birthday, Angela Gee, the uh, serious goddess, for real. Um, shout out, man, the, the key for the day, DJ Khaled, man, I told y'all, read a key every day. The key for the day is inspire the young world, all right? I want to give special shout outs to my man, um, Late Nights, mixed with Early Days on Instagram, who's sharing the work, man. Thank you. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? And I want to give a big shout out to my producer, you know what I'm saying? When I get into that zone, Kid Wonder, all right? Astro Kid, all right? And um, with that, man... Self-activation workbook, myastrologycoach.com. Get on the mailing list because I do do free webinars. Join the mailing list on myastrologycoach.com. You got a question, you want to see something, comment, or even call me, man. I answer the line straight up with that. Peace. Prophecy is what we all have to go by now.